Hello, this is Cass Blue, and welcome back to Mars Lighthouse in Golden Sun. Last time we slayed Durlaham! And this time we're gonna try to do the same thing here. I mean, well, same concept anyway. Okay, between episodes I've done a few things. First of all, I went to the blacksmith again. I did not get a whole lot of useful stuff from him. Um, I got these gloves. Which are okay. And... I got... This helmet. And that's about all of note that I got. I also reassigned- I also, as you can see, spread out my consumables, my powerful ones that is, so that I have a better chance of using them when I need them. I also put my Jinny back into this setup. The reason it, it is set up like this is because I'm going to attempt to beat the boss of the game using this setup. I mean, pretty straightforward. Which I have not actually done before. If this doesn't work out, then on my second attempt I'm going to be using a very different party setup. On the second page, however, it's a little bit different. This is set up so that I can immediately summon Iris if I ever have to go to my second party, which is good because it means I'll get a second chance with these guys, who are the ones who actually deal a lot of damage. It's also worth mentioning, summoning rushing is a lot less effective against the boss of the game than it w was against Durlahan. This is because Durlahan is a cheating bastard. Uh, no. Actually, it's because... Um, it's not because Durla has a cheating bastard, it's because the boss of the game is actually a bit of a cheating bastard. It is it is programmed so that certain- it basically has multiple life bars, and its effective HP is much- um, its total HP is much lower than its effective HP for the purpose of calculating the damage of summons. Oh yeah, I gave that to Isaac, by the way. Felix is rocking the cursed sword and helmet, because those are the only cursed I good cursed items I have. Now, I need to remember how the hell to get up this lighthouse. I should be able to do it fairly quickly, but I also don't actually remember the path. Oh, you know, that's pretty respectable, actually. I haven't got- I want to see what that unleashes on that thing, that, though. Uh, okay, well this is wrong. Let's re-roll, and take a different path that maybe goes up more. Possibly the stairs. Those, pr those do, after all, presumably go up. If, I don't know if they go up enough. But, you know, we'll, we will see. This was actually long enough ago that I legitimately don't remember the way up. Oh no, this looks correct. Oh yeah, this is correct. You who hold the star, open your heart and listen! If you wish to scale the heavens, set for the spirits of flame. S Reveal! Wait, what? Okay. Oh, I see. So we're going to need to solve each of these before we can climb all the way up. All the rest of the way up, I guess I should say. You have the the OP one now, so you're the one who should sing be single targeting things. Although it may be unnecessary. I mean, it's no Megiddo, but my damage with that Cursed Sword is actually up. I mean, it's not actually off the charts, but it is not literally off the charts, it is figuratively off the charts. But not as much as Megido. though. Okay, so, one of four. Matt, hmm. 
I thought it was actually straight up to there. I'm a little... I totally blocked out that I would need to do a whole puzzle area for each of these. Yeah, that is actually not very good damage. As I... as my initial... So you know, it's nice to confirm my initial assertment that Megado's the strongest one. Mmm... I'm not sure which one of these I should be trying to get into. Uh, well I can get into this one, so... It seems like a good choice. Uh... Okay, so... This is not really ideal. This would need to be lit. So that's not gonna work. I need to get over here first, I suppose. Or maybe up there? I mean, either way, not where I just was. Uh... I'm thinking like that? No, obviously not. It's hard to get a clear picture of where I want to be. Okay, well, I want to be on that one. Really? Just really? Man, anyone could kill you, even Jenna. And she can't hit... And she could not hit the broad side of a barn. I almost feel like that Unleash is actually dealing less damage than I would be getting if I was just attacking regularly. Or just hitting regularly. I mean, I think a critical hit would definitely be doing anyway. Um, how do I get to there? Uh, well, I need to land on there. Or there. How would I get up there, though? I would need to land on there. How would I get to there? Um... I got... I got no idea. So... So, so... Oh, I see it. Basically the same way I got over here, except going in the other direction. Not actually that hard. Oh, I see. I see. I need to turn... I need to turn on the flames. With the power of frost. So, do that, and, uh, is there anything up down here? No. Okay, then. Do this, and then freeze this, uh, with someone else, maybe. No, you don't actually have freeze powers anymore. Neither do you. Wow, it's actually a good thing I have the damn frost gem. <laughs> Go figure. Uh. Okay, I need to do this in the correct order, actually. I need to push this one into place first. Otherwise, the flame will melt the ice. Then I do this, and then it's all lit up. Now I can go over there, and. burn an eight with the dragon, and probably blow some shit up. Which will presumably allow me to get onto the far left. Uh, let's see. This way. Yes, I have the power of Blaze! Yep. Yep, that did a thing. Okay, well. Uh, just like this. Awesome. Now then, anything? Nope, nothing over there. Uh... D Douse? Obviously not. Do I blaze it? Oh yeah, you know what? I totally blaze it. One down. Three to go. Two of four. The land of birds. Literally, apparently. Mm 
Yeah, like, I actually think that... Well, in fairness, it seems like a lot of things resist that. Which probably goes a long way to explaining why it's less effective than attacking regularly. But even so, it's clearly dealing less damage when it unleashes. Hmm. On the other hand, Isaac doesn't deal quite as much damage with Megado, I think, as Felix did. Which is understandable, I mean, compare their freaking attack powers. 5... 580... 770. But even so... But even so, Isaac also has way higher luck, so he should theoretically be getting more unleashes. I actually need to check who has higher attack power between Jenna and Shiva. Because I'm not sure what the value proposition is on who they are paired up with. Like, whoever hits harder should be hit going with Felix, and whoever hits less should be going with Megado. Um, Jenna is a little bit stronger, so that's ju just as well. Okay, it looks like we're doing this. Cyclone! Just please... Ah, uh, man. Not a, like... Please don't be, like, a Cyclone Maze. That would be really annoying. I don't know the correct path. And it won't... It's not... Cha solving a maze is not challenging. It's just tedious and time-consuming. So obviously that... Yep. So... There is nothing here. Nothing I can do here, anyway. I'm not close enough to that thing to hit it with a Cyclone. Uh, I misassigned this. But it's fine. Okay, so I need to go back and presumably up the other way now. <sighs> and to my- actually, wait a second, reveal. Oh, there's nothing there. And to my left, there is a second unmarked cyclone thingy. So yep, no way of knowing which one was the correct side here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Because I don't feel like walking around if I get it wrong. No, like this. It is, like, really not worth my time. Okay, actually, in fairness, I don't think that's doing any less damage than I would be with a regular hit. It's just not dealing any extra damage. And in fairness, I am a little bit spoiled by Megado. I mean, it's hard not to be. Megado is OP. So that was the wrong result. Let's let's try it again. Because, you know, basically screw going around the long way. That would require four additional cyclones. To say nothing of the time walking and the additional battles. It would take at least two more minutes, I would say, if I actually walked all the way around. Or I could just reload! Which is like 30 seconds down the drain. Not ideal, but oh, I did not think this all the way through, did I? Wow, that is actually really... That actually sort of annoys me. It actually... Really? Whatever. It actually kind of bothers me that you have to do it this way. I mean... I mean, the Cyclone Maze is annoying within the context of the video, but it's not necessarily bad design, you know, it's just, I just don't care for it. This though, this is kind of bad, because you need to go to one side that is unmarked, do something in a specific order, and then jump down and go all the whole circuit a second, a uh, whole time. You're required to go in circles at least once. 
and the more you're just as likely to do it two or three times. That is not good. I guess I guess in fairness I could use a void that would speed this up a little bit. But on the other hand, if I ha if I have to use a cheat like that, then that is in its I mean that's not really a cheat, but even so, if you have to use something like that, it is in itself usually a good cue that something has gone wrong. Like in a game like this, the battles should be fun, people should want to do the battles. Oh hey, Firebirds. Not worth as much as Wonderbirds, but maybe worth more than Phoenixes. We'll see. They have a hell of a lot less HP, that's for sure. But are you going to cast Regeneration Dance, or whatever the hell it's called? Nope. Okay, well you had a chance. This is the part where I kill you. Yeah, that's pretty good. Better than the, than the experience I got from half of the Elemental Guardians. Uh, let's, uh, heal. Uh, what was I saying? Right. If a pl In this game, in a game like this, one of the prime, um, based on time spent doing it, one of the prime sources of the entertainment should be the, uh, battles. Because you're doing it more than almost anything else. If people are skipping, choosing to skip your battles, that is really bad. Because it means your prime sort of engagement is not engaging enough. And I definitely want feel like skipping battles if, I, if I'm in a situation where I feel like I'm fighting things that I shouldn't need to be fighting. As is the case when I have to do a large loop like that. Because it, it soaks up time, and it's just... It's just thoroughly not really very good. I guess I need to get knocked down here. Okay, uh, can I get back up here? Oh yeah, I can. There's a ladder. Okay then. And I can just use this to float right over. Or hover right, oh, right over again. Same difference. Cyclone! Some more! So much Cyclone. Hmm. Uh, okay, I don't like the look of that. Also, a box! Okay, that's... that's good. Um, seven... 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 six. Okay, then. Yeah, that's kinda scary. Now, we're gonna... oh! Reveal! I do not want to know where that will knock me down. Oh, we're up top now. Time for Blaze! And now, back to the main room. Two down, two to go. Next up, the power of Earth. The power of man. Because I figure we're in the Mars Lead House, so we may as well do fire last, you know? Oh hey, Firebirds! A game. I mean, not a game for you, but a game for me. I fought, I fought a set on the way back, and I got like a ton of experience from them. Because, oh, well that didn't happen. Actually, maybe the Phoenix were worth more experience than that. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I guess. In the long run. The power of Earth is the power of move. Okay, that's gonna... that's gonna sting. There's a dragon behind here. You see, I could actually tell as soon as I was touching the statue, pretty much. Okay, well... What is in the leftward door? Or rightward door, actually. It's sort of the exact opposite of left, in fact. Yeah. What's over there? 
Uh, staircase up. So, what's it behind all these? I mean, they can't all be... Dr that's a dragon. Dragon, you can see the ears when you hold hold on to it with the hand. I'm gonna uncover all of these, though, because I'm a glutton for punishment, I guess. Dragon. I mean, they don't actually deal that much damage, so... Oh, there's a thingy here. Uh, have, of course, having just said that. Okay, the other side is probably the way down, then. Um... Okay. I can do this. I need to lift. No, I don't need a lift. I need to carry. Like that. And I need to do the same thing on the other side. And then I can push the block up there over so as to block off the flame. Which will be happening momentarily. You know, once I get up there. Push it just all the way over. Still wish pushing was faster. But you know, you can't have everything, I guess. Okay, that's probably where the other staircase went. Right there. So... Is there anything down there? Uh... I mean, possibly, but... Okay, this one's a little bit different. But a concept we have done before. Use the power of sand to progress. Meh. <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking going through this puzzle, like... If you compare the di amount of different synergy you need for this, compared to the other lighthouses, I mean, there's an obvious, obvious gameplay explanation for that. But in-universe, the only ex obvious explanation is that they expected Mars to be tackled last because of its location. And they deliberately made it the hardest to make damn sure that only a coalition of synergists, I guess you'd say, could light the lighthouse. And in fairness, it is, like, way out in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, see you back in the main chamber. And time for room 4 of 4, the realm of dragons in flame. And minotaurs. Apparently. I don't know, those always struck me as more an earthy thing. Maybe that's just me. But, well... Whatever. Actually, if anything, the classic myth- if the classic mythological uh, minotaur were associated with anything, it would be wa be the water, because it is definitely a Greek monster associated with Poseidon. Having said that, without that c connotation, I would still go with the Earth connection. Certainly more than fire. Anyway, let's climb it. Number four, uh, oh. That's how this is gonna be, eh? Time for some... Where is it? Burst! I still say... Most of the field... I still say that for most of the field synergy that they should be... Have combat stuff. I mean, just look at Burst. How can you look at that and say no combat? Come on. Okay, what does this button do? Oh, that's what that button does. Um, okay, well, that's good. I need to go on to the other side now, I suppose. Yeah. Let's do it. Just over here. 
Uh... No, yeah, this works. Blaze! And it blew up that wall. But disappointingly, it did not actually blow it up. It just put a big crack in it. I mean, come on. Come on. You should be able to do better than that. You are basically a blast cannon, after all. But, whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um... Over here. First... Again! Oh, I... How embarrassing. I seem to have missed. Okay, this away, and over here, and up here. And then around the other side, I suppose. Yep. That's it. Okay, well, this is a flame pipe. This looks kind of familiar. Uh, I mean, just do it until I've got it right, I suppose. Okay, well, I can go over here. Actually, this seems wise, because I can move this, and I'm gonna need to move it, like, two or three times, maybe. Um... Yeah, now I can go over here, move it again, and get past the dragon head. At least a little bit. I can get past a dragon head. Anyway, I think it's maybe too much to call it the definite article. Hmm. I don't even know what the hell that guy is supposed to be. Yeah, that one. The one underneath the sun. I guess it doesn't really matter. Probably a demon of some kind. That would be my guess. Well, I cannot go that way, but I can go this way. Which will allow me to push this back out of place and presumably turn off the flames to at least one of the, these pipes. Yeah, that one right there. A single firebird? That's a little disappointing. I have no idea what element that is. I think it's probably wind, but I don't know. I don't want to go this way. I want to go... This way. Yeah, this one. Okie dokie. Just through here and down here. Wait, is there anything? No. No. Oh. Just kill him quickly. No, quicklier than that, Felix. You didn't even finish him off. Come on, dude. He only has like 400 HP, and you did like 400 HP, and he was still alive. What is up with that? I mean, presumably he has very slightly over 400 HP. But anyway. That is the fourth tower. Whoops. Right, fire hurts little bit. But that's the fourth tower of four. So, we can presumably make our way to the, um, the area, I guess? The peak. Just as soon as we get back over there. Any second now. Any time now. Ah, uh, I... this is... and... Oh wait, I just want to say... This... because this is the same play session for me as... At the... when I started the, uh... Fight in the Desert. This... I had more left than I thought I did at that time. I've been going for... so... About three hours now? A little over that, and it's starting to get pretty late. If if I was at any other point of the game, this would be the last thing I would be recording for tonight. Frankly, normally I would have stopped an hour earlier than this. But no, I am so close. 
It is right. It is right there. So, join me next time when we ascend to the lighthouse airy and ignite the Mars lighthouse. Until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun: The Lost Age, and I've been Chaos Blue, and have a good day.